Hey, let me tell you something, folks. Uh, if you saw the show yesterday, uh, doing a Hey Steve segment, I met, I spoke to a woman uh, named Melva from North Carolina. Uh, turned out to be really, really just quite a character. This woman was something else. Uh, and Melva's question was about her son, AJ, who had recently moved to L.A. and had been, you know, going out on the L.A. Hollywood social scene and wanted his... had had been taking his mom and grandmama to a couple of these social scene events he had been to and wanted them to start acting a little more Hollywood. Because, you know, they was from the country and had moved to Philly. And Grandma and mama was out here embarrassing the boy. So here's, here's, the, here's a reminder. Uh, well, what did he say? When he pulled you to the side, what did he say? Well, he actually said it to my mom, and my mom said it to me because it's more like my mom, like... <laughs> and, like... Um, I you, said, you embarrassing I... your mama. <laughs> this is not about your mama. <laughs> this is about you. <laughs> <laughs> I love that so much. Rip, Ms. Melvin and Ms. Cobb were some nice people. We got to talking. So this is going on, like, all show long. Even on commercial breaks, we're going back and forth. And one thing led to another. I don't even really remember exactly how it came about, what all happened, but I ended up giving Ms. Melva and her mama, Ms. Cobb, a night out on the town. <laughs> now... But their son had sent them here in Uber. So I tried to call a car service, and I couldn't get a car service here in time. I wanted to send them out in a big Mercedes or something. Ooh, Mercedes. We ain't never been in no Mercedes. You know, so I was going to send them a big... But I couldn't get it here in time. So I said, okay, skip it. I ended up calling my driver downstairs, and I gave them my driver and my car for the evening. <laughs> So, <laughs> let me just show you how it went. So they go downstairs. They looking at, they was in there touching buttons. My driver said they touched every button in the car. <laughs> it's a bar in the car. They found the bar and they drank the bottle. So, I did was I sent them to this restaurant because they, because they said they hadn't had no good food. So I sent them to one of the best soul food Creole restaurants in the city of L.A., which is Harold and Bell's. So I sent them to Harold and Bell's. Now I told them to get the fried seafood platter and just get one and split it. But since I was paying for everything... <laughs> you see, it's two platters right there. My driver said that Miss Cobb was in the cop. Miss Velma was the one that was talking. She said, these seats is moving. Well, she had pressed the massage button because it's a massage seat in the back on the passenger side. So they had to pull over and cut it off. But then she said, no, nah, if that's what it is, I want it. So <laughs> cut it back on. So they riding a little bit more. My driver said, Mr. Harvey, I got to take your car in because I got to get everything readjusted. They was just pressing buttons. They was knocking stuff out of sync. And they drank my McCallum. I got 18-year McCallum in the car, in the, in the bar, in the refrigerator. They drank half of that. So they was full. So they riding a little bit longer. Miss Cobb says, Lord, it's so hot in here. <laughs> My driver say, Miss, it's 70 degrees in here. So look at her area, because it's four different areas you can cool. It's hers on 70, but she done cut her seat on high, high. <laughs> her seat is on hot. <laughs> Miss Cobb was in there just sweating. <laughs> My driver said, <laughs> Steve, they done touched everything in this car. So she said, what is these tables? Because, you know, I got laptops in the car because I take care of business. Oh, <laughs> uh, we get the cars in the shop. The Wi-Fi don't work no more. I don't know what they did. 
They... <laughs> so, I'm pretty sure that things went well, because at one point, the grandmother had a special message for her grandson. Yes! yes. Oh, you AJ sucks! <laughs> The grandmama said her son, A.J., sucks. <laughs> My driver said, Mr. Harvey, they was calling everybody they knew. He said, the lady said, girl, we in Steve Harvey's car. <laughs> and the lady said, who? We in Steve Harvey's car. Who is Steve Harvey? You know who Steve Harvey is? Don't act stupid. We went to his show. We in his car. They said, it ain't no way in the world you in Steve Harvey's car. FaceTime now. <laughs> now. Now. We in his car. This his car. She said, you know, good and hell well, AJ ain't got no TVs in his car. <laughs> so that's what happened. It, it was a pleasure to meet you. I sure hope they had a good time, man. Also, I want to say thank you to one of LA's finest restaurants down on Adams off Crenshaw. If you want some Creole food, the best gumbo in this city. Ain't no, you can't beat their gumbo at Harold and Bell's. You can't beat their fried chicken platter. You can't beat the seafood platter. You can't beat, you can't beat the catfish platter. Go down to Harold and Bell's when you come to LA. Go down there. It's real, really, really a nice restaurant. Hey, if you like that video, there's more where that came from. Don't forget to subscribe and scroll down and hit that little bell while you're at it, too, to get notified every new video.